Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Lee Hooker, boom, boom. <laughs> your feet I'm gonna take you home with me put you in my house boom 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 all right all right all right what do we got going on G D G 42, 34, 24, those are my gauges. They're wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube and I'll show you those settings uh, at the end of the video. So what we've got going on with this tune is it's in the key of E and where is E? So if we started out here on the nut, we have open G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. This E chord is made up of E, B, E. I'd like to play this E chord in a different way. I want to play it instead of E, B, E, I want to play it B, E, B. Okay? It makes a lot of sense to be focused down here as opposed to up here because I hate to do big jumps. And you'll see in this song where I actually do some jumping, and I really like to avoid that at all costs, but this song has this way of going through it, and I just can't. But this right here, that's just so perfect for this little space. So, put your third finger here on that fourth fret of that low G string, Put your first finger here on this E, so it's D, D sharp, E. And then you're going to put your pinky here on that G string there on the fourth fret. That's a B, so it's B, E, B, or four, two, four. You could also play it this way. Okay? So this song works. G, uh, E, G, A, E, E, G, A, E, E, G, A, E. Watch my hand and watch really closely how I navigate this. So it's go, 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 go. So watch again when I play the shape. So here we are at E, E, open. My finger's not going very far. A bar, E. So it's E, G, A, and that's an A. My hand is just staying right here. I'm hinging right there like so. So E, G, A, E. So this is a one, four, five song where E is the one, A is the four, B is the five, A, B flat, B. That's on the fourth fret right there. <coughs> so in the one position, you have E, G, A, E. In the four position, you have A, C, D, A. So if you notice, it's A, C, D, A. In the five chord, you have B, D, E, B. So that's how I work this. So it's 
Boom, 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 boom. Down to the four. Shoot you right down. Knock you off your feet. Back to the one chord. Four chord. Put you in five chord, I mean. Put you in my house. Boom, 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 boom. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Four, 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 four. One, 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 one. Four, five, 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 five. One, 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 one. So that's how you're playing with this, and you can play along with the album, okay? And like I said, watch my um, companion video and to look and see how I do this, and you could play along with that if you wanted to. So uh, that gives you the chord shapes. This hopping is a hop from here to here, no different than hop from here to here, okay? So you got to get used to these hops. Uh, da, da, da. So when I hop from A to C, then I can hit my D here, and my first finger is ready to go back to A. When I'm on B, I need to go to D. Okay. Then I kind of use my pinky sometimes, and I hop back to B. And that's how I do my hops. And for you guys that are say new to the instrument these hops are going to prove to be very very difficult so what I would do is put the words on a piece of paper or your iPad or something and put them on the floor so that way you're looking at the fretboard and the lyrics at the same time so that you can glance easier so your eyes go here there here there here there here there Okay, that's one way to uh, learn both at the same time. It's harder to look from here to your, to your stand, here to your stand, here to your stand, than look here, there, here, there. Okay? Um, I suggest uh, putting your lyrics on the floor. I also suggest making the font as big as possible. So the song sits on one page. Um, it does make a huge difference, especially with me. I'm, you know, I'm 60. I have weak eyes. It's just the way it is. And I need everything, you know, like close. I'm really looking. So you can see that in my videos that I'm, sometimes I'm really looking. So that helps me with my weak eyes. The little lick. Okay, that's broken out of, we had a video on theory and the blues scale. Okay, so I want to digress a little bit and show you the blues scale. The blues scale looks like this. So E, G, A, B flat, B, D, E again. Okay, that's the blues scale. This is kind of a cheat on the blues scale. You're going to take this blue note. That B flat is the blue note. It's the and that's what you want to do. So this little blue scale, you're going to take that note, that that B flat, you're going to come down. So you're going to hit it and slide a fret. But I don't want to do it up here. My song's down here. So I'm going to take it from here. That little move, it's like cheating from here. But you're right here. And I like using my third finger because that puts me in this position that I like to be in. Okay? It's all about hand position. So I'm moving to here. E. Moving to here. A. Okay? So, you're going to pick once and slide one fret. And a lot of guys are going to go... It's a fast move, not a... It's a... Like so. Very quick. 
and a lot of guys are going to go <coughs> right or <coughs> something like that you want to be very concise exactly where you want to be <coughs> open <coughs> e d e So my suggestion to you is to get the chords down, the E, and then the A, right, and then the B, then add the lick. And when I add this lick, watch the way my fingers work. This is the most efficient way to play this lick with the chords. Replace. And I'm ready for the lick. Replace. Replace. So it's about being efficient in your playing. And this is this whole song, and you could just sit around on this. There is a jam, and the jam is just E, E7, so E, E, B, E, A little rock and roll rhythm there, blues rhythm if you want to call it that, E7, which is E, B, D, A, A7, so an A, E, an A is A, E, A, and A7 is A, E, G, E7, B7, B, F sharp, A, Seven A E G right, and that's just the jam. So it works like so. That's the whole song, and that's all you have to worry about. And you can ad lib anything you would like in it. I think uh, John Lee Hooker did a lot of ad libbing. If you watch the, um, if you listen to the album version, listen to his live version, and listen to the Blues Brothers movie version, you're going to see three different things going on. And that's his style, and that's what that's his genius, and that's what makes him. You know, not I, you know, in the top top four or five of greatest blues players of all time. So that's where it puts him in my in my orbit. So thank you so much for everything you do for me, and I do appreciate it. Down below is a PayPal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. A buck a show is all we ask, and I really thank you so much for all you've done for me. And let me show you my settings so they're a little bit different. So these are my settings. I have my gain up pretty high, if you could see that. It's past 12 o'clock. And uh, reverb's there, no effect, and my tone is dimed, and I'm on that Brit combo. So that shows you where I'm at there. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, and we'll talk again soon.